Hi everyone, I'm Steve Redgrave and this is my tips on how to win rowing gold medals. I've heard lots of people that train hard and win gold medals. I haven't heard of very many that don't do very much and win. So if you can train better than your opposition, you're going to go faster than your opposition. So train hard, commit yourself, you've got more chance of crossing that line first. A lot of athletes are superstitious. They've got their lucky socks or a way that they put on their uh, uh, clothing. I used to have a St. Christopher and I then got sort of lots of little trinkets added to it and I felt that I couldn't race if I didn't have this on, which is absolutely rubbish. It's about how you are as an individual. That is just a mechanism getting over the pressure getting to that race. Know your venue inside out. Uh, a lot of my Olympic venues, I, I went and trained there beforehand, knew what conditions were going to be like. Something like Banyolis, where I won my third Olympic gold medal, my first with Matt Pinson, is that we used to go out there on a regular basis every February, March time that we used to go out there. So we weren't racing against the Spanish. So the local community got to know us. They were supporting us as well. So we were the home favorites. That's the way that we looked at it. Being in an Olympic village, one of the things is, is you can overeat. Olympic Games, the restaurants are open 24 hours a day. You've got time on your hands, you're bored. Uh, you tend to sit in the canteen quite a lot and uh, overeating can be a big part of it, especially as rowers that we do like our uh, uh, intake. What Matthew and I used to do, that we used to rank all our opposition. We used to put little stars by the, uh, the entry list. And if they had five stars, that means that they were gonna good, be good. We never used to rank ourselves, but we would put a ranking order of where we think everyone else in the field would finish. And then we would look at it after we've done that and saying, okay, somebody's gonna be able to produce something that we haven't seen before. Who's got the capability of doing something that, uh, something special? And so you're looking at every detail of what they've performed at before and what they potentially can do. So when it actually comes to racing, there's no surprises at all.